the channel if you're a returning subscriber and if you're new welcome I'm going to be doing the layout for this week which is the 26th through the 2nd of October is that correct 2nd of October I just can't believe how fast this year has run out uh, for me it was just January and already Christmas is knocking right well I'm doing the layout for this week <clears throat> and as you can see I am doing a bit of just shading, simple shading. Sometimes we just need to use the simple things. And I was like, you know what? I just want to add color to the border of my boxes. So I pulled out my mild liner. I mean, yes, we use the mild liners to highlight, to highlight, but they can also be used as shading. So I gravitated toward the purple and I said, you know what? This is what I'm going to use. So that's what you see me doing. I'm just taking the highlighter and I'm just creating the border around the boxes on both the right and the left side of my scripture writing layout. Now it has a bit of a scalloped edge, so that's what I'm following. So it makes it that much more cute, I think. And I'll zoom in a bit so that you can see. But yeah, sometimes it's just that, that simple touch that just makes your layout pop. And you can do this with a highlighter. You can do this with a pen. Um, I have some Tombow brush pens. You can do the same, but you have to be careful with the Tombow brush pens because those may tend to bleed through the paper more. These mild liners are, they live up to their name. They're mild. <laughs> you may see some shadowing um, or ghosting, but it will not bleed through to the other side of your page where you will actually actually see the color. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to finish up um, both sides of my uh, pages here and then we can move on. All right, so I'm just finishing up the other side of my page and I just love this. I mean, sometimes I'd use washi, but it worked out just as well using the highlighter. So I'm not going to do too much more after this, but I normally do this last, but what I'm going to do is to go and add in the days and the dates. And I'm using these days, which are from uh, Paper House Studios. And I am an affiliate. You can get 15% off. My code is uh, in the description below. And you can use my code to get 15% off of uh, your purchase from Paper House Studios. And I love um, having these days. So they're in different colors. And of course, I'm using the purple to match the layout. And I got an abundance of these and you can find them there as well. So I'm putting down the dates. So we're starting with the 26th and we're going to uh, number it out all the way to October 2nd and again I can't believe it's October already so once I do that I'm just going to look for uh, just a, some florals to add to the page so I'm in my um, happy planner uh, sticker book and I'm going to look for some florals that will complement the layout and I do find some that have this kind of uh, purple and lilac color and they're very pretty so I'm looking through and then I stumble upon these purple shades which are just beautiful so I'm just gonna cut down this big floral and I'm just gonna divide it up put one side on the left and one side on the right Now, I first thought to put it like on the inside, but I'm trying to not take up too much room, even though I'm trying to give it, you know, that 
beautiful look with the florals added so I pull it all the way to the edge of the paper and it still works out. I love the way it, it looks like that. It kind of like blends into the to the layout. So I'm going to add just one more and I'm going to cut this down as well in half and then I will kind of balance it out and put one over on the right side a little up and then I'll place the other one a little lower down on the on the left side. So now that I'm done, all that's left for me to do is to find someone cute to put in here. Well, I will put Sister Audrey, which is a doll from the shop, but I'll also use the Bible Journaling Essential sticker book, which is by Amber Planter Day, and I'll find a uh, scripture to place in there as well. And look at that. Sister Audrey's outfit is a lilac purple. She just matches perfectly, and she's laying there on the floor with her Bible and her journal, and she's, she's scripture writing. So she goes just perfect. And I'm just thumbing through here trying to find a scripture. I saw that one, but I was like, no, I'll keep looking. And then I decided on this one. And it says, God is my refuge and my strength. So that's the sticker that I'm going to place right above Sister Audrey where she is on the page. And then my layout is done. So that is it for my scripture writing layout for this week. I've been enjoying this um, uh, half sheet classic. I don't know what you want to call it. I just call it a half letter size insert. I've been enjoying it. And if you enjoyed this uh, layout as well, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. and. Comment below because I'm going to write in purple ink this week. Do you use colored ink when you write in your layouts? Let me know below. Anyway, chat with you all later. Be blessed.